A home to 1.2 billion people, along with a few skill and refinement. Welcome to India. Encounter the rush of his daily life, where all are involved in the never-ending race of survival. But contrary to all this, there is still a minor population who are still fighting for their identity. They are abandoned. They are the thieves. So come, let's meet them. Kinnas, commonly known as Hijras in India, are considered to be third sex. Existing other than male and female, people in Indian society treat them in a very bizarre way. Some treat them as messenger of God, and other as polluted human form. From ancient time to present day, kinners are only laughing stuff for this society, and that led to many council truths. Though the way they collect money from people in trains, buses, and roads is harsh and awkward, but behind it, there are so many stones unturned. They basically try to irritate males by frequent clappings and touching their body parts. So, to avoid all these contacts, People give away money in a hurry. They take the advantage and they collect the money in this simple form. Use of cars and abusive language is a common scenario in their cases. And all this evident that they are on the faulty part. But is it all true? Bulti Bai, one of the kinners from Alipur Dwar, shared that we could know better about them if we would talk to their guru. A kinder of 53 years explained the situation there. She is the guru of Bulti Bai and 34 such other kinders. Sriya Sharkar, a kinder of 25 from New Jalpaiguri, shared her pathetic story with us. Hmm. 
An enough of 48 years from New Wangelgo and her group of kinders explain the way they feel about their own self. For the humiliation they receive from the society, their self-esteem became so negative that they accept themselves to be cursed. The way they harass us on our journey, the tactics they use to raise money with all kind of impolite activities, their so called uncivilized gestures and postures and the abusive languages they use might be the reason for them to be the misfits in this modern civilized society. But is it really their fault? The favorite child of the family suddenly becomes a black sheep with no reason or guilt of her own. The pathetic situation and the humiliation they have to handle while they enter the adolescence cannot be expressed 
but can only be filled. We inject the poison of hatred and rejection into their life and then expect them to behave well. For that, we have to recall Newton's third law. So, it's the time for us to change. Change for a better society, a human society.